All right, so I haven't checked out and I haven't measured out the um, the chain just yet. However, what I'm starting to do is is I'm I'm going to drill two holes first, one here and one on the other side. The hope is that to keep this intact, so that way when I do put the chain on, I, I can find out what's going on. So he, here's the trick, right? So these are um, three fourth by five and a half, but reality is you don't want it all the way down. So what I did was um, I measured over here, right? So that way at least it sits on top, right? And I put a piece of tape there, all right? So so that way it doesn't go beyond it and then I I, I don't, um, you know, screw up my uh, my flooring, all right? So what I've done so far is, is I've drilled one hole, as you can see, but what I need to do is I need to vacuum all that out, all right? Because you don't want to keep the dust in there, it's just gonna cause you problem when you try to knock it down. Okay, so here's the trick of these. What you do is, is you put it on the, um, the washer and the nut all the way, right? Then you take a hammer, you knock it down, all right? Don't try to knock it down without the, uh, um, the nut in, because what happens is, is if you keep hitting it, the head is gonna expand, which means you won't be able to get the nut in at all, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm in good shape based on my, based on my measurement. If you take a look now, See where it goes down to the tape? That's perfect. That's that's where I want to be. Because I want to have a little bit of a uh, room for me to put this on. Alright? So let me uh suck up all the, the uh um dust and knock the first one in. Alright. So guys, last week we uh last I filmed, right? I, I installed this and I installed this one, right? This one, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, even after you drill the hole. Make sure you get everything out because because if dust is at the bottom, here's the problem you get, right? You can't get it down all the way and you can't lock it in because it's not really safe. It's just, just too high. You see it? So I have to tear this whole thing out. However, this went down pretty deep, okay? So there's a substantial, at least that much, is already underground, right? This one over here, it's a bit higher than I wanted. Unfortunately, um, the only alternative is to rip this out too, and I, I, I prefer not to rip as much as I can, right? I still have two more bolts here, so I'll go deep with those to, to compensate. Likewise, I'll go deep here. So, as you can see, here's one of my mistakes already, so avoid that, all right? Here's another thing, right? So, so I locked that down roughly. It's not perfect yet. It's not there yet. This one, I haven't locked down at all. Here's the reason why. So, I took out the chain, and I start to put together, as you can see. I've got a decent amount of gap. I could do one of two things. I could buy more chain to connect into this, or I can compensate by moving the stuff in. So the good thing is that this comes in two pieces, as you can see. So all I have to do is lift this up and move it over, and I'm in better shape. I will need to cut this plastic, though, because because it won't fit, right? Um, but before I, I go crazy, let, let me make sure that I can get all the wiring in, all of this chain in. And then uh, I can lock it with, with the locking chain piece. Then I can drill the hole. The good news is, is if I make this in closer, this means that the space for the second car is going to be better. Do you see what I mean? Now, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised that the person who had this set up, um, that, that this plastic guard is as long as it is and yet it's still not touching that that to me seems a bit weird um it could be that they weren't using it and they were just going straight onto the metal which is fine too but ideally you want it on here so it doesn't rub the other one as much but but now you guys understood why why i mentioned do the chain before you do anything else or else you're gonna find that you're gonna have to either drill new holes or or um Get additional chain, all right? Keep in mind, I even though I soak this in, most of this is all movable. Um, some of this is actually still a bit rusted. So the hope, of course, is, is as we keep turning this, as we keep moving this, um, it gets better, okay? So I just wanna show you guys that just so you guys see, you know, the progress of what's going on. I'm still chugging along as you can see, but but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, so the chain is there. I've got three bolts locked down. Requires a decent amount of elbow grease, right? But it's getting there. 
All right. So here I, I left, I haven't done much to it yet. I still need to do two in the back and one in the front. And I need to figure out how to pull that out too. But at least if you take a look now, right? Um, anchor should be done by today, which will then give me focus on mounting the uh, motor. All right. I'll have a, a friend of mine come by and check to make sure that uh, there's no surprises, right? But I think I'm in good shape. Keep in mind, this is my first time doing this, but uh, after I finish this, I clean up the whole section there. I think my garage will look a lot better. All right.